Hi ladies! Okay, so I know a long time no see, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys all had a really nice break. Um, I did went home and I did a lot of Asian shopping. Okay, now before you guys say anything, I know, okay, I know, the hair is a little short. Um, even though some of you guys are going to be like, that's so long. It's really short for me if you've ever seen my older videos. I, I usually just like point to where I want it to, well, like how much I want her to trim off. Sorry, my loom was sticky. And, um... Yeah, you just just point to her. She's like, wow, that's more than usual. And I was like, really? Oh, well, it can't be like that much more, like half an inch, whatever. But I think that half an inch, inch extra I pointed to makes a really big difference. I'm a little self-conscious right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, I prefer my longer hair, but it's okay because hair grows and my hair grows really fast. But anyways, I just wanted to share some things with you guys that I got when I was home. Um, I did a lot of Asian shopping when I was home. I don't really live near any Asian stores and stuff um, where I go to school, so did some Asian shopping while I was home. First off, I went to Zion, which is the Korean market. It's like Korean 99 Ranch for all you Chinese people. Um, and I got these new lashes. And they're S... The style is S-K-H-X-O. And when I say crisscross lashes, this is what a crisscross lash looks like. See how the fibers of the lash look like they're crossed over each other at the band? Now, I find that these look the most natural out of all lashes um, but these are a little bit too long to look super natural so these are more a more natural length the sugar ones but they discontinue these for people that are wondering I know it really sucks I was really sad too these were like my favorite lashes I would wear if I was trying to be really really natural and then yeah so these are my new favorite ones um, I like I don't know if you can tell but they look a little bit wispy a little bit wispier than darkness ones and that's why I like them, because it has a kind of like more hair-like quality to it. So these are my new favorites. It's like $4. No tax, so pretty good deal. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I went to Mitsua, which is like a big Japanese market. Um, I think it's a pretty big chain store. And I got Shise Shiseido's Subaki Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, uh, because it was because my mom wanted to get the white one because she perms her hair a lot and um, she was just like oh do you want to try it too and I was like sure you know okay I'll try it free shiseido stuff I like um, but I really wasn't that impressed to be honest it was $7.99 per bottle the bigger bottles are I believe $15 12 dollars I don't know and then they the thing I think is really cool about Shiseido Subaki shampoo is the bigger shampoo and conditioner um, have a pump on them and they have a refill that's like $3 cheaper. So I think that's really cool. Yes, these are $7.99 each. And I don't really like it to be honest. I was a little bit disappointed just because I'm so in love with their skincare and their, um, their makeup that I was just really, really disappointed. Like... It smells really nice. When you're in the shower, it smells a little bit strong. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like Japanese candy. Um, but it smells really good. But it doesn't smell very strong once you get out of the shower, like once you dry your hair. It just smells strongly in the shower, and it lathers up really well. But my only gripe with this is it made my hair look dirtier faster. I've noticed that. And I was kind of like on a lookout for that too because that's what I read in a lot of the reviews. This is kind of like a love it or hate it shampoo I've noticed. And for me, it's just didn't do much. I mean, yeah, I made my hair shiny, but it, it kind of gave it, it, the way it texturizes your hair, it just texturizes it differently. Um, I just wasn't a fan, to be honest. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Even though I only conditioned my roots, I mean, I still kind of noticed it. Because I touch my hair a lot, if you guys haven't noticed. A lot of you guys are like, can you guys not touch, can you not touch your hair? No, I can't. I try, honestly, but it's like something I do in real life as well. Um, people that know me in real life know that. In which case, please don't watch this video. I know some of you guys do it. Just can you stop? Okay, but anyways, it's kind of embarrassing. So yeah, this was kind of a miss for me. Um, I also try, wanted to try out their lip balm because I'm a lip balm junkie. I don't wear a lot of lip products every day. The only thing I really like is chapstick just because, you know, keep your lips soft. So I got the mint one, the menthol one, since those are the ones I usually like as opposed to like the fruity ones. They had like, they have, they have a, um, one that has a cherry blossom on it and that one has like a pink tint to it. 
and they had a berry one and a pineapple one but I don't really want berry or pineapple chapstick so I just got the mint one and it's a little bit medicated so it has a slight almost Carmex like taste to it but it's very very slight it's way better than Carmex because Carmex is just like too much for me I just hate that one I just feel like I have medicine on my mouth but this one is just enough where it does really help your lips now my guy friends stole a bit of this and he really really liked it he wanted to steal it from me but I think he kind of liked it more than I did one thing I noticed is it kind of makes all your dead skin peel off which is really good if you have any um, looks kind of weird though when you see it but yeah so I do like it but I don't know if I'd buy it again for $5.99 just because I don't think it was better than Burt's Bees um, I really like how it feels when you first put it on, but I feel like I reapply it more than Burt's Bees, and it goes away faster. Because I've only had this for, like, four days, five days, maybe a week, I don't know. And that much is gone already. So, from, like, here up is gone. And that's a lot for me, to be honest. Like, I don't think I've ever finished a chapstick. I usually lose it before I finish it. But, yeah. But, I mean, it's pretty good. It feels really good when you put it on, but I just feel like it doesn't last quite as long as I would like it to. Um, and then I went to Marokai Market because I'm actually going to Florida this weekend. Um, and so, you know the whole airbag restriction thing? I don't personally like checking in luggage ever if I can avoid it. I'm only going for two days. Just because I don't want to lose my luggage. I don't want people throwing it around, you know. And I don't want to have to, like, wait in between flights, like, try to find my luggage and have to, like, wait for my luggage to come out on the conveyor belt. So, if I can, I always try to do carry-on. And you guys know there's like liquid restrictions right now, especially with um, enhanced security. So I always get these. And this is the main reason I went to the Japanese market. I went to Marokai in San Diego. Now, it kind of bummed me out when I went there just because I realized they had this shampoo and conditioner for a dollar cheaper off of everything. That sucked. But anyways, these were just a dollar fifty. Or this one was $150, this was $125. And that's such a good deal because if you've ever gone shopping for containers um, in Longs or Rite Aid, it's like $5 for bottles that are really big and a little too bulky to carry considering I have a lot of stuff I want to carry, like a lot of liquids. And so these are like the perfect amount for just like two days or whatever. So this one was really cute. comes with a little spatula and has like a little pink top. And it's four little containers and two of which are screwed together like this. And then the top is a baby pink and they had like blue ones too it says like sweetheart on it which is kind of cute and it comes with labels so you can label it so you can know what's inside which is nice and then I love these ones too and it comes a little this one comes a little plunger so you can put liquids inside and a spatula so you can put creams so it comes with two smaller containers and squeeze little squeeze balls like this and the reason why I really love these is because um this is perfect for eye makeup remover. Um, perfect, perfect size for eye makeup remover. And then all my other lotions and creams and cleansers I just put in these little containers. Because um, shampoo and conditioner, I just buy the travel size. Like, you know, Pantene Pro-V ones from the stores. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys are traveling anytime soon. Or if you guys, um, we're still kind of confused about the whole crisscross lashes thing. Um, I hope that helps. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys are happy with the liner tutorial. I know it's fuzzy though. Ugh, I was so mad. And I kind of like, I just kept forgetting to like look straight at the camera. And so my eyebrow looks weird and everything just because I'm like at a weird angle. But I promise I'll try to redo that one. Um, it's just really hard. It's much harder than it looks. I suggest you trying to film something like that. It's pretty hard. Um, I was pretty surprised. So yeah, um, sorry for the no update in a long time. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are doing really well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.